Okay, welcome aboard there, Carmela. And just a moment, we'll get Brian's headset on too. Okay, so welcome aboard there, uh, Brian and Carmela. Stretch out your legs. Enjoy that leg space over there. This is where the motion sickness bags, mercy briefing cards are, air conditioning vents are right there and above your heads. And again, you can get your camera out in the case. Just tuck between the two of you so it won't go anywhere and it's readily available in case you need it. Carmela, you're also my uh, co-pilot for the day, okay? So I'm going to ask you if you're able to keep your legs stretch, uh, stretched out and enjoy that. Uh, please don't bend knees over the flight controls. I need that space in order to fly the aircraft safely, all right? Thanks a lot. And again, like I said, that red case, it won't fall into the flight control area. Just tuck it between the two of you right there. Yeah, right there. And then I'll remind you to pick it up, okay? Where are you folks from? Visiting from Washington, D.C. Okay, so thanks for visiting us all the way from there. Enjoying your Hawaiian vacation? Celebrating anything special? Or just having fun? Honeymoon! Congratulations, all right? Happy honeymooning, all right? Come back for our anniversary when you have some time yeah, in the future. So make yourself at home and enjoy. Okay, we also like to say aloha, welcome board to uh, Tim and Alicia. Hi folks, where are you folks from? Denver. Uh, okay, so again, thanks for being with us all the way from Colorado. Guys, celebrating anything special or just having fun? It's our friend's wedding. Oh, that's a nice excuse to come to Hawaii. Awesome, okay. Alright, so make yourself at home too, folks. Right in front of you, seatback pockets, motion sickness bags, mercy beefy cars are located there. Just want to point out where everything is. And we also like to say aloha to Thai and also Julie. Hi folks. I love your necklace. Where where did you get it? Over there, Lahaina Town or something like that. Oh, awesome. Okay, where are you folks from? California, what part? Los Angeles. Okay, so welcome aboard. And you can go ahead and stretch out if you want to. Uh, right in front of you, again, seatback pockets with motion sickness bags, mercy briefing cars located there. I'd like to say aloha to everyone. Aloha kakayaka. Aloha. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeanette. I was born and raised here in the islands of Hawaii. And we're very happy to share my island home with you today. I've been flying here over 31 years. Now, folks, as we get started, no it's hard to yell out a question. Uh, we use these little notebooks. And uh, folks up front, there's a notebook right here, uh, tucked in over here uh, by the supplies. And I'm going to pass these back for those of you in the back, okay? So, Ty, if you wouldn't mind, grab a book for you and Julie. Pass one over again to Tim and Alicia. Thanks a lot. Folks, you can just tuck it between the two of you so your hands are free to use your cameras. And again, uh, you can use that to write me a, a, a question if you wish and tap me on the shoulder, show it to me. I'll do my best to answer it, okay? All right. And we're going to also be on the way in a few more moments. Now, everybody, I just want to let you know that sometimes you'll see my lids move and nothing comes out of your headset. It means I'm talking to the air traffic controllers. That's what is happening at that time. Everybody can hear me, okay? All right. And then we'll be on the way in a few more moments. And don't forget to look over here real quick and see our smiling faces. All right. Aloha. Welcome board, everyone. And we'd like to say a little congratulations to our honeymooning couple up front. All right. We're going to be on our way, folks. Please excuse me right now. We're getting a takeoff clearance of Maui Tar. Get your cameras ready. And you're my National Geographic photographer today. So don't forget to see something you like. Just focus, point, and shoot. You want to grab that Kodak opportunity. We're just waiting for Captain Pete from um, Windward Helicopters. He's going to cross high behind her tail. And that's our rescue helicopter again, uh, folks. And uh, he'll be heading out. You'll see it out to your left-hand side of the aircraft as he descends down. Then we'll be allowed it to go. Okay, now it's our turn to go. We'll be lifting up. Everybody, welcome aboard. Yeah, we've got high surf. I'm going to take you to see the surf right now. 
supposed to be um, about 15 to 20 feet. Looks like it. It's crashing up over here, generated by a weather system way to the north side. So, again, take a look at the surf, folks. Rolling in here to Kanaha Beach Park for pros only, okay? So, again, uh, folks, if you used to the high uh, surf, you surf 15 feet or 20 feet, okay? This is the surf for you, folks. So, this is the result of a weather system. Again, way to the north of the islands. Yeah, you got one stand-up paddleboard surfer over there. He's crazy, but oh well, you know, we got some really good surfers out here. All right, let's head on out there. And again, our folks in front of the nosy aircraft, yeah, we're going to look for high surf today on all the north-facing shorelines. Now, unlike California, you guys got bridges here and there and everywhere. We don't have it here. The only bridges are a tug and barge. Take a look to your right. It's going to make the high surf, it's going to make it a little difficult for the barges sometimes to get into the harbor. So our boat captains are really good. Right side of the aircraft. Again, that's um, our Matson Tug and Barge. Pretty soon our Harbor Barge will come out there. They'll be waiting right at the entrance to the harbor. They'll assist. But again, uh, folks, this is how we get the heavy goods in and out of the islands here. Now, folks, as we head along here today, uh, on the left-hand side is our harbor, Kaului Harbor. You'll see people surfing in the harbor today, too. It's a multi-use harbor. you got canoe racers, one-man, you know, kayak paddlers. So, you know, there's also the ocean sports that also go on in the harbor. Okay, we're going to climb up a little bit then, folks. And as we do, again, our folks, I think today we'll turn all of you into pilots, all right? To aviators for a little while, all right? So, again, uh, if you say 12 o'clock, folks, where would you look? 12 o'clock. Make believe you've seen it in the giant clock face. That's right, straight ahead. 9 o'clock means please look to your left. 3 o'clock, out the window to your right-hand side. And using the clock positions might make it a little easier for you to spot what I'm talking about. So if you look to your left, Alicia and Tim, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, see all those trees against the base of the mountains? Those are macadamia nut orchards. How many folks had a chance to try macadamia nuts? Chocolate covered, salted, honey roasted, good. Again, and if you like drinking beer, folks, got bigger smiles on your faces, check out that lightly salted Maui onion and garlic variety of macadamia nuts. Also that hot wasabi covered macadamia nuts too. Now, mac nut trees take 8 years to grow. And again, uh, folks, uh, you don't have to wait a little bit for your return on investment. Now, looking forward there, Julie and Ty. I'm going to come back this way for you at the end of our tour. So, again, uh, folks in the left are seeing the shoreline first, and then you'll see it a little bit later on. But in front of the nose of the aircraft, we hope you enjoy maybe a little adventure. Straight ahead of us, Carmel and Brian, you're going to find the red dirt trails right about 11 to 12 o'clock on the hillside, and that's part of the Mendez Family Ranch. We hope you enjoy horseback riding going up into the rainforest and down along the beach. So folks, in front of the nosy aircraft, head up here, enjoy a delicious barbecue lunch. It's a lot of fun to enjoy a wonderful horseback riding adventure that takes you here along the northwest coast of the island of Maui. Also in front of you again, folks, we're going to head out here to the valley, slightly to the left nose of the aircraft. And that valley is also where we did a little dinosaur movie. So everyone take a guess which dinosaur movie filmed in a way. Jurassic Park, yeah. And again, Jurassic Park used the island of Maui. Island of Kauai and the island of Oahu. All three islands were spliced together to help create the island of the dinosaurs. And slightly to right, Julie and Ty, about 2 o'clock position. Okay, on the right-hand side, you see a trail there. Julie and Thai, I hope you enjoy walking right up to the top of the hillside. All of these beautiful lush green areas over here, part of the Island of the Dinosaurs for the first Jurassic Park movie. So folks, take a look forward to your left and right hand sides, all of these beautiful lush green areas. Well, 
when we have a little bit of rain over here, Carmela and Brian, you know, doing your honeymoon today, you come back for your silver anniversary 25 years from now, and that water that falls on your honeymoon now is the water in your hotel tap pipe coming out there in the future when you celebrate your silver 25th anniversary with us. So don't mind a little bit of rain, folks. Help us protect the rainforest. It actually helps generate the water supply for the islands of Hawaii. So the rainforest underneath you, a giant sponge. Soaks in water, channels it deep into the earth, and a drop of water takes about 25 to 27 years to get down into the aquifer and becomes part of the water supply system for the islands. Now taking a look for it, if you look for it, Alicia and Tim, maybe some of these trees came from Denver, Colorado. You can never tell. They were planted here in the 1920s to the 1960s. Front of the nose of the aircraft, cook pine trees, Norfolk pines, eucalyptus, and right in front of the nose of the aircraft, all of these are planted here to stop erosion and increase the water carrying capacity of the rainforest itself. So we're going to head over Honokahau Valley and over to the beautiful Kapalua area. Boats in front of the nose of the aircraft. Straight ahead, you have the island of Molokai. We're headed there next. And coming into view shortly, if you look to your left hand side there, Camilla and Brian, at about 9 o'clock, you'll start to see the island of Lanai, a pineapple island, will start to emerge on the left side of the aircraft. Now folks, as you look across to your left and forward and to your right, we hope you also enjoy again some of these beautiful areas. We'll go and check out what the waves are doing here on the north facing shorelines and see if there's any surf available. Now if you look over to your left, you're going to find the beautiful golf courses over here. How many folks like golfing? Anybody like golfing on board? Some of you do? Alright. And again for you there, Brian, and maybe again for Tim. You might enjoy the wonderful Kapalua Plantation Golf Course. Home to the Mercedes Open, now it's home to the Hyundai Tournament of Champions. Ty and Julie, if you look forward, slightly to the right nose of the aircraft and also just to the right hand side. We're flying over fields of pineapple there. Pineapple is always cut into rows, cut to fit the harvesting machine. Although we're not using these fields right now, we'll hope to use it a little bit later on in the future. Now if you look to your right, some waves are rolling in again at... Kona Kahua Bay, you'll find the local surfers to your right and a lot of folks there on the left hand side. If you've got cars parked along the edge of the cliffs, Honolulu Bay might be going off a bit. And again, that's a favorite place for a lot of the other uh, surfers. It's a little easier to get to here on the left. You see everybody in the water. So look straight to your left there, Kamel and Brian. Hope you enjoy the beautiful beaches too. Got Fleming Beach, Kapolo Beach, and down the coast and Kanapali Beach. They've been voted number one beaches for the United States. And also to the left-hand side, if you look down, you'll see all the surfers waiting for that perfect wave now on the left-hand side. Now, if you look carefully, sometimes you see little green-brown dots, sea turtles. Again, and uh, keep an eye out. Sometimes you see splashes in water, and uh, that might be dolphins. So we'll just keep an eye out. No guarantees now. These are wild creatures. I don't have any control over them. But every once in a while, we may see uh, some of those creatures here. In front of you, don't forget to pamper yourself. Beautiful five-star Ritz Carlton Hotel. And again, uh, folks, in front of the nose of the aircraft, we hope you come out over here and enjoy golfing. And I'm going to wish you a hole-in-one there, uh, Brian and Tim. Maybe even step up to the championship team, one off for the fun of it. And for you, Julie and Ty, you're looking at where golf course greats, uh, golf greats such as Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods have their second homes over here. Yeah, and Julie, if you look straight down, you'll find those surfers waiting patiently for that perfect wave right there at Honolulu Bay. It's a nice place to surf. Anybody surf? You guys surf over here? Oh, you can learn how now. And no one cares if you fall off the board. I fall off my board all the time, okay? So don't be afraid, folks, to learn a new skill and jump into the ocean and enjoy. That, let me check in on you. How are you folks doing on your Hawaiian vacation? Having fun? Enjoy? What's your favorite thing to do? Swim? Snorkel? Beach? Eat, drink, and be merry. That's the best part. Uh-huh, me too. I love, again, great food. Hope you do as well. We're surrounded by the ocean. I hope you enjoy some great seafood over here. And again, don't forget to head on over and explore some of our wonderful little islands. These are easy to get to. You can take a day trip. Now, come on over again, folks. The island of Molokai, 12 o'clock, right in front of you. Island of Lanai, to your left. Best yet, Alicia and Tim, to your left. And Island of Lanai, unlike Denver, Colorado, 
you don't have to worry. Zero. No traffic signals. Okay? One main road, that's all you got. And Island Molokai too, a single traffic signal, unlike Washington, D.C. Yeah. You don't, you're not going to get lost here. Not, not really, okay? And folks, uh, slightly to the right nose of that aircraft, unlike Los Angeles, you're going to find that it's a really easy, slow pace of life. Uh, you know, you have the beach to yourself. It's not crowded at all. Just 2,000 folks live on the island of Lanai, on the left-hand side, and about 5,000 right here on the island of Molokai. Now, these islands are easy to get to. If you're staying on the west side of the island of Maui, take the West Maui Kapolei Airport. You just hop on a plane, come on over, you'll be here in 15 minutes. One five minutes is all it takes. Now, if you want to go by boat, you certainly can do that too. There's a ferry boat, and if you love fishing, I'm going to wish you luck. Maybe, Julie, you'll catch a big fish over here. Take a look to your right. See the two uh, rocks out there on the right-hand side about 2 o'clock? The larger rock is nicknamed Elephant Rock because of its shape. Use your imagination. It may look like an uh, elephant sleeping in water. Of course, the elephant is a lucky creature for many, again, cultures. On the right-hand side, you'll see two little white dots. They're kind of like circling around Elephant Rock slowly. And those are the fishing boats. They've already gone out there early in the morning. Hoping to catch a big marlin, ono, mahi-mahi, they're all great tasting fish. So on the right side of the aircraft, going to wish you luck. Maybe you'll be standing on the dock holding up your catch, weighing it in at about 200 to 300 pounds. So on the right side of the aircraft, again, lots of great deep fishing right here. Now folks, in front of the nose of the aircraft, to your left and to your right, hope you enjoy Carmela and Brian, deserted beaches. Not crowded here at all. Uh, a lot of folks, uh, again, that live on island Molokai, again, make sure that their island stays country. They, uh, again, are unspoiled, undeveloped, and untouched. You'll find smaller bed and breakfasts and beach house rentals. Now, if you look to your left, Tim and Leisha, you're also going to see lava rock walls connected to the shoreline. One's right about your 10 o'clock position. And that's where you can enjoy those ancient Hawaiian fish ponds. They're 600 to 1,000 years old. Hawaiians built those as refrigerators. And you could actually go snorkeling in the pond. It's really calm and it's a great place to actually see the fish there underwater. Hawaiians still use the fish ponds to create the you know, a food supply close to the shoreline. Now, if you look to your left and your right, look underneath you, You'll also find there, again folks, beautiful coral reefs awaiting you. This is one of the largest fringing coral reefs of any of the eight major Hawaiian islands. So it's a great place to swim and snorkel. Or just lay on the beach and relax. In front of you, to your right, and right in front of you, also to your left, the land from the top of the mountain out to the ocean is part of the Hill of the Star Ranch. This is where President John F. Kennedy once stayed. Corporate retreats and movie stars have used the ranch cottages and houses, and you can too. They're actually very reasonable to rent. And they're off on your side there, Julia and Thai, at about your 3 o'clock position, the gray roof at once. A big uh, rectangle of water is the ranch's reservoir for the cattle, so they have water to drink during long, hot, dry spells. And a Hawaiian cowboys will escort you on a horseback riding adventure into the next valley. Now, this is a great place to enjoy again, folks. Having your loved one with you, walking hand in hand in the middle of the valley along a stream bed trail. And then you're going to end up on the left-hand side, at the very back end of the valley, at Mo'ul and Hipo Pool Waterfalls. So I hope that all of you one day will sit underneath the waterfall, let it fall on your shoulders, give you a mini massage, and enjoy diving into the icy cold, refreshing mountain water. We're going to share the view, folks on the left, and then we'll turn around for you there, Julie and I on the right-hand side. Please enjoy taking your pictures.
so folks, let's take you out again to enjoy the beautiful north shore of Molokai. This is a wilderness area. The only way to get out here is by boat, by helicopter, or by airplane. And if you take a look, again folks, out the windows closest to you, whether you be on the left, it's on your left, on your right, it's on the right. You can enjoy here on the island of Molokai, some of the tallest sea cliffs here in the world. And you can see the wild surf will be here today. Again, a result of that huge northwesterly ocean swell, it's bringing 20 foot high waves here to the north shore of Molokai. And you folks that live in California, I'll give it to you, Julian Thai, you really got to know about earthquakes. You really do. And this huge, beautiful north shore was actually created by a huge earthquake and landslide over two and a half million years ago. Head now to beautiful Papalua waterfalls. Don't forget the surf shots to your left and right, folks. Beautiful waves curling over on either side of you. And right in front of you is the tallest waterfall. Papalua waterfalls drops down 1,070 feet from top to bottom. When it faces your side, don't hesitate. Take your pictures and enjoy. You can scream all you like. You can see the surf over here. We are pretty high. You don't realize it because we were way at a height looking down on top of it. But you're almost alongside a wave easy to force of mother nature and again also folks you'll find the sea cliffs here like i said majestic created by a huge earthquake and landslide over two and a half million years ago now folks in front of you there's a flat peninsula julian thai in front of you is kalapapa national park 12 o'clock straight ahead now if you look carefully in the distance you're going to see one more island out there on the horizon a shadow on the horizon that's the island of oahu 100 miles away on the left side of the aircraft is the Kohiva cliff face. And uh, again, for honeymooners, Kohiva means the beloved one, someone that's dearly cherished in love. And family for all of you, the person sitting ne next to you. Left side of the aircraft again, that goes up to 2,000 feet. Don't worry, we're going to come back to for you over here. 